Today we're in the gym and I, I want to talk about glute training and booty building. This seems to be quite popular on social media that with the past couple of years with women trying to add more growth and more shape back there. So I thought I would give my two cents on what I do for training for myself and for my clients in order to, to get more and more growth in that area. Now, uh, contrary to you know, what a lot of people believe, you know, I don't really like squatting when it comes to training glutes. I find that there's too many other secondary muscles working and if you're specifically looking to isolate the glutes, um, you, know, you can run the risk of building your quads or your hamstrings too much. So when it comes specifically to glute training, I like to really isolate, isolate without any compound movements. And also really big on different angles as well in order to uh, target the glute and to really be training it in its full range of motion. The other thing is I'm not really big on heavy lifting for glutes. Yes, it's a muscle group. Yes, it has to be stimulated. But I like to focus more on the time under tension, longer rep times in order to, to give that resistance to the muscle but at a, a much more controlled rate. Um, you know, I see a lot of people just like loading up weights and, and training their glutes with, with hip thrusts and stuff like that. And I find you know, that's really hard on your lower back. You're not fully being able to engage your glutes because you're working on just getting the momentum of the weight moving. So uh, a lot of my clients are really surprised when they train with me for the first time, just how sore they are the next day and how much they're feeling their glutes more than they ever have because I'm really, really specific on targeting the muscle at a much lower weight that we're lifting, much more longer contraction rate and, and time under tension. So today I'm going to show you two moves that I love for building my glutes and uh, be sure to check out sarahfunnel.com for the full blog post and more tips on training the glutes. So let's get started. So our first move here today is on the hip abductor machine. Uh, this one's really great because this machine here is a dual purpose for abductor and adductor. I know a lot of people get that really confused. So here's a really simple way to remember it. Abduct is outer, adduct is inner. So if you think if you're going to abduct something, you're going to take it away, outer, abductor. So there's a little tip for you. So this is my first uh, really, really favorite glute move because it really, really isolates the glutes specifically to target that ham glute tie-in area. Now in order to do this, uh, like I said, I love angles, so you're going to get really, really forward on the seat, like till you're almost on the edge, forget the back seat. You're going to make sure you have all of your glute tissue behind you, and that your hips are behind you, and that you're leaning forward, and that you're basically over your knees like this. Make sure you keep your back flat by doing that, keep your chest elevated. And then you're going to push out and make sure you pause and hold and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze right there. And then back in. Again, out, hold, and in. And you can see I'm not doing this very fast at all. I'm really, really just focusing on squeezing the muscle and have intention for when you're lifting. So as you push out, focus that you're pushing right from there. Out, squeeze, and right back in. These are really great to do for drop sets. So you can start with a really, really heavy weight and drop it down a couple times, or you can do the opposite. You can start light, go up to heavy, and right back down and, and pyramid that weight. You can really, really play around with this machine, and it's really, really great to target the glutes. So for the second move that I'm showing you here today, I'm gonna to be using a half Bosu ball as, uh, to help me out a little bit. And you don't have to have one of these. Um, anything that's just going to get you elevated off the ground by a couple feet, like a riser or a box, anything like that, um, will work just fine. This move is also a body weight movement and it's all about intention, contraction, and squeezing. Really, really great for isolating the glutes. It's a perfect move to superset as your second exercise uh, with something that's weighted to really target your glutes. So you're going to put the bosu to a ball flat on the ground like this, or a box or whatever you're using, and you're going to put one knee onto the Bosu ball, and you're going to get down onto your elbows. Now, you want your body to be at about that 45 degree angle. That's the key here, so that's why you want to be elevated. Now, your heel has to be flexed the whole time. Not pointed, flexed. Flexed engages the back of your leg to ensure that you contract in the right muscles, okay? So, what you're going to do is it's not a kick up, but it's a kick 
forward. Okay? So it's really, really great to do if you're looking in the mirror and basically you want to look at your foot going forward towards you and down. And you're going to go up and you're going to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and back down. So you want to hold it for about a count of two to three seconds. So one, two, three and squeeze down. One, two, three and down. And again. One, two, three and down. And you can also see my rep range is not that far. So don't bring your leg all the way down. Just bring it down so the glute relaxes a little bit and then right back up into the move again. Also, keep the foot flexed the whole time. That's really, really key. So your rep range starts here, ends there. Starts here, ends there. <sighs> Give that a try with about 10 to 12 reps on one leg. Switch to the other leg. I guarantee you'll feel your glutes like you've never felt them before. You're really, really going to target that glute and ham tie-in area. And uh, yeah, oh, that wore me out. <laughs> Trust me, you will be sweating, breathing heavier than you ever have before. Just really, really, really focus on that squeeze. So there you have two glute moves that are really going to focus on isolating the glutes and you're not going to be working too many other secondary muscles and worrying about building those too much. Um, you can also superset the two if you want uh, for maximum contraction of the muscle. Just a little tip though, because the scorpion kicks are alternating leg movements, when you come up the hip abduct abductor, yeah. <laughs> See, even I screwed that up. So when you come off the hip abductor machine and go into the scorpion kicks, do one leg, do the other. But then on your second set, be sure that you start on the scorpion kicks with the leg that you ended with so that you're getting the same stimulation uh, through your sets. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you think, guys. Happy training. I think I say really, really a lot, don't I? Hey guys, it's Sarah. Did you like this video? If you did, you can do two things to continue your journey today. First, please go to my website, sarahfunnel.com, and subscribe for updates, so I can keep bringing you videos just like this, with blog posts, event updates, product releases, and just so much more that I can't share here. Second, please share this video with your friends and family, so that you can inspire others to lead a more optimal life as well. Until next time, stay healthy, vibrant, and happy.